Welcome to Ace Justice League to Betamax episode two. And this is a special episode. Uh, of course, if you don't really know what this show's about, what we do here is we test run betas, demos, trials, you name it, anything we can get our hands on early to give some feedback back to the developers and get the audience simultaneously ready for the actual retail release. So this week, is a bit of a doozy because Gamescom just happened in Cologne, Germany. And uh, so what happened was Kojima Productions had their own separate panel that happened with Jeff Keighley and I watched it all and he kind of surprised everybody at the end. And actually, hold on, I gotta, I gotta go back a second first. I gotta lead up to why this story is important. So I'm pretty sure most of you on Tuesday watched the PlayStation reveal at Gamescom. And you'll probably remember them talking about a little game that we're going to start up here called PT, an independent horror game that they were just throwing up on the store free. They urged you to try it, see what you thought, right? So they kept it kind of low key, didn't really show much from it. They just kind of said that it's available in the PS Store right now. Go check it out. So people started checking it out slowly on various Twitch channels. They figured out what was going on, and then Kojima finally put it all the pieces together during his conference revealing that this was actually the letters PT stand for playable teaser which is essentially a teaser for the upcoming next chapter in the Silent Hill series Silent Hills with a plural s now what they mean by maybe Silent Hills not sure is it two games is it two towns who knows there's no date or anything like that this is essentially a very very early work in progress. So it's Silent Hills. It's going to be this major blockbuster next game from Hideo Kojima, of course, the creator of the Metal Gear Solid series. And he's actually using the brand new Fox engine to power this game. Okay, so if you've seen Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, or at least glimpses of the upcoming Phantom Pain, you know that the new Fox engine is going to be serious business on the 8th generation. So to everybody's surprise, this new survival horror game is going to be using that beautiful engine. And I gotta tell you, man, this is the kicker, okay? Uh, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't do any research when I downloaded this, okay? I, I didn't know that Kojima was involved. I just kind of went to the store, grabbed it, and my first experience was playing it on remote play with the PS Vita, okay? So I actually didn't play it on full screen because I was actually watching um, one of the conferences and I was just kind of fumbling with my Vita in the background. Uh, and I just kind of stumbled onto PT over remote play and I'm looking at this and I'm like it's like a first person weird eerie game but man it's like photo realistic dude you're gonna see this and, and Kojima even said that he purposely down these visuals t to actually pawn it off as if some fake indie company just put out this game and hence you'll see in the par part of the picture it says 7780S uh, studio that's actually kind of an in joke that's actually Kojima revealed that that's actually a nickname in Japan um, it's it's based on Silent Hill's nickname in Japan which is Shizuoka and, and essentially Shizuoka prefecture is like a 7,780 kilometer square area which name translates to quiet hills so it's kind of like an in joke but you know he had to have to reveal a joke anyway what we can expect is gonna be something even better than what's already here and man i'm telling you i've already played this just the first i'd say one minute of, of this experience i'm telling you all my reactions of this survival horror game teaser are going to be genuine i have not watched any of the spoilers i haven't watched any of the twitch playthroughs uh haven't even played through this whole thing yet i've only tried it like a minute of it just to get used to the controls so what you see happen here is going to be completely genuine and i'm telling you like the graphics just it's, it's really the lighting textures the, the, the well the lighting the the wall textures and just and the and the depth of field and the vision tricks really just make this immersive i mean in such a grander way than what games like outlast already established early on in this generation but now it's kind of like taking it to the next level of immersion and my god like i've seen already a couple of other people reacting to this game not having watched the footage but just their faces and and they're crapping themselves and it's funny Kojima said that uh when him and Guillermo 
Del Toro, who's also the other big force behind this film. Of course, the director of Pan's Labyrinth, and uh, what else did he do? Pacific Rim, of course. The upcoming Pinocchio, he did Hellboy. So he's teaming up with Kojima at Konami's urging. It kind of all started where like, Koji, like Konami actually wanted Kojima to reboot the Silent Hill series because if you've been paying attention to his Twitter account over the last, you know, a few months or so, he's actually been tweeting about it, you know, like tweeting about Silent Hill and people are like, why? And now we, we realize that he's basically taking this to the next generation using the Fox engine and he's got Norman Reedus, man, Norman Reedus. So it's a bit of a spoiler. I'm sure everybody already knows that you've seen the articles. You know Norman Reedus is in it, but man, wow, what a powerhouse personality to bring into this. And there's even a rumor that he may have been talking to Ryan Gosling because he mentioned on Twitter that he actually wanted to have uh, make a game with both him and the star Norman Reedus. So. Wow, this is going to be, I, I hope this is going to be good. I, I have no idea whether this is really scary or not. We're going to find out. Like they said, they originally, when they were making this game, they wanted you to piss your pants, and Kojima said, now we want you to shit your pants. He said that, like, if a game's too scary, typically a player will walk away, but this time they don't care. They just want you to keep playing. So let's get it started. I got the room dark, as you can see around me. Got the sound turned up, surround sound, and this game, and of course you know these games are always about sound. What's interesting about this, is it's so nondescript, I love, I love this marketing. It's, this is, people are gonna remember the way Kojima marketed this, like, putting out this, this little trailer that, even people I've been talking to, they're like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, it's, it's a teaser for Silent Hills, and I'm like, really? And here we go. Okay, so let's get it started. This is a photo, I think, taken out back of one of the developers houses. I think that's what he said during the conference. So what's really interesting is in terms of immersion and suture, which is at the heart of any good survival horror game, the game is just gonna throw me right into it right now. No title screen, no credits. We're in the game. Here we go. Silent Hills or PT, playable teaser. So. Apparently, if you if we know the spoiler, we're Norman Reedus. You can see he's wearing like a leather jacket. But I mean, you if you have a PS4 and you still are able to download this, you really got to see these textures. I mean, yeah, they are down res, but you can see the potential. And when you t and when you take if you when you take Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain into into effect and, and, and imagine what the possibilities are with this, this is going to be almost like a photorealistic game. And, and like, look at this lighting. And the, the depth of field is astounding. Like, this is one of the most realistic looking first person games I've ever seen. I mean, obviously there are a few problems. Like, there's a little bit of aliasing on some of the windows and kind of some crude, crude textures down here already. But still, like, this Fox engine, wow, man. Like, and there's a grain to it too. There's film grain, so it feels cinematic. So I can hear some, oh my God. What was that? That came over from over here. I, I'm, I'm listening to this on surround sound right now. Let's check it out. Okay, see, so like really I'm pressing all the buttons right now and it, they don't do anything, right? You just basically move with the two sticks. There are no actions, very simple. You walk into a door, you hear them jiggling the knob, so. Right now I can hear a cat mewing. It's kind of like a dog humping another dog or something. Or, or a dog crying. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, it's a coat rack. Should I go here? And there's something like, it's either like creaking back and forth like, yeah. Oh my god, the door's open. That was closed before. That door was closed. I did not open that. All right, cool. Let's go down the weird basement. Why am I doing this? Like, why? I know something bad is going to happen. Like, why am I fucking doing this right now? My heart. Huh? Okay. Were we already here? Ooh. Interesting. It's like a portal. Oh my god. I literally just got goosebumps, man. 
What the fuck, dude? What's opening behind me? What's opening behind me? What opened? The door will fucking open. Oh, of course. Let's just go check it out. Why not? Why not? It's only in my heart. How do I get in here? I can't. Oh my god, I hear a baby. Press some buttons. I guess I'm not supposed to go in there. Ah! Hold on. If I hold if I hold R3, that zooms in. And if I press L3, so it looks like he's trying to grab the door. Okay. Let's try going this way. Huh. Hardcore style. Whoa, what the fuck, man? What's in there? I want to open the door. Why can't I open the door? Where are my hands? Where are my hands? Oh, options menu. That's all the options are. <laughs> Great. What's over here? It's perpetually not even midnight. Now this was that portal door, I can't go through here. Turn around, boo! Huh, interesting. How do I open this door? How do I open it? Pressing all the buttons. L3 doesn't do anything. Quiet, kid, I'm coming. I'm coming to save you. You weird. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Okay, so I pressed R3 to zoom in and boom! Demon baby! Oh! I just had a choke go through my body. Holy shit. Okay. Well done, Kojima. Well done. Well played, sir. I hear, like, laughing at me behind me or something, man. You fucker. What do you want? Leave me alone! Holy shit. Oh my god. Good lord. Where do we go? Holy, holy. What the hell is, of course I can't go anywhere. Come, oh. This is insane. Is he still there? Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god, dude. This is madness. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going down to the basement. Let's make door number three! Time still hasn't passed. It's like I'm in a like a vicious cycle here. I'm telling you, man, this photo like when you play this on remote play, man, you don't see the um, the down rising as much. It really looks. I'm swear this looks photorealistic. It's so fucking good. Here we go. We're in it to win it now, boys. Here we go. Start start your boxer briefs. Get ready to shit yourselves. Flashlight and here it comes. 
Turn around. Turn around and... Holy shit! Oh my god. It's like, it's like, it's the feeling of like when you're at the top of the loop at the roller coaster and you're like, holy shit! Holy shit! And you're like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Might as well just face it. Oh god, what's in here? What's... Oh, I can't even see my own face. Ew. Bobbing for apples. Holy fuck, I can't open the fucking door! Staring in the mirror? Ah! Something really bad's gonna happen in a second, man. Oh my god, what is that? Ay, 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 ay. This is fucked. I think I'm gonna throw up. I can't handle. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is it a baby? It's a fetus! Oh my god, the horror! The fucking horror! Can I just get out of here? Can you like, get the fuck out of here? What a oh my god, mama's coming. Mama's coming for baby. Holy shit! Can I get in the bathtub? Open it. Open it. Oh, God. It's like radio static. <sighs> no! No! You didn't open that. way it's like a roller coaster ride of to hell it's like you, you, you know where you have to go next you don't want to go but something compels me oh it's clear it's clear something's around that fucking corner man still 11:59, man i can hear a tv screwed up man screwed up this is ridiculous i'm looking in the door Don't touch that dial, we're just getting started. You can't trust the tap water. There's fluoride in it, it'll kill ya. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude, I hear footsteps. I hear goddamn. Holy shit, dude, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Dude, this is ridiculous. Like, the Outlast has nothing on this. I love you, Outlast. You're a pioneer, but this is like the next level of like survival horror, man. Like, Resident Evil has a lot of work to do. Oh my god! I died. Holy shit! Just a little bit of a story. Well, Del Toro-san, we talked about it. Well, 
ゲームにしようっていうんですけど最近はまあ運行を漏らしてしまうようなゲームを作ろうということで、えー、取り組んでますので期待してください。And the one thing I can tell about Silent Hills, this is something that I've been talking with, with Guillermo del Toro as well. But、uh, originally we were thinking of making a game that would make you pee your pants. But at this point we've changed our minds and we are aiming for a、uh, game that will make you shit your pants. <laughs> so that's a taste of PT, playable teaser for the upcoming Silent Hills. By Hideo, Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear Solid fame, using the Fox engine in conjunction with director Guillermo del Toro and Konami, and of course, my、oh、man, Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead on board. So, this is something to look forward to. I, I don't know if this is 2015, I doubt this. I think this is more like 2016 territory because he's got Phantom Pain coming out next year. So, but I mean, Wow, I mean, you saw my reactions here. That was only like the first five or ten minutes, and already, like, my, like I had chills, cold sweats, like, like for real. Like, I was not faking that. I haven't seen this, like I said, I haven't seen this prior to playing this. That was all genuine. So, I mean, in conjunction with that glorious, gorgeous Fox engine, I mean, wow, just, just the photorealism and the lighting effects combined with like full on 5.1 surround, truly immersive experience that. I mean, you don't need VR for that. You don't need virtual reality. All I needed was a dark room, a big screen, and surround sound. So that's coming soon from Konami. This has been the second episode of Betamax with me, Mike Frusios of the Joystick Justice League. Peace and game on, guys. Stay tuned for more.